From NBC News World Headquarters in New York, this is NBC Nightly News with Brian Williams. Good evening. The initial news a few days back that a man had made it across the North Lawn of the White House and inside the front door was bad enough, but we now know the intruder went well beyond the front door and deep into the White House itself, not far from the stairway and the elevator that take passengers up to the private family residence. The head of the Secret Service goes before a congressional hearing tomorrow, and she will again have a whole lot of explaining to do. While veterans of the Secret Service say it's never been the same since it was pulled out of the Treasury Department and lumped in with Homeland Security after 9-11, this brings more unwelcome attention to the people who protect the president and the people's house. It's where we begin tonight with NBC's Kristen Welker. Kristen, good evening. Brian, good evening. When Omar Gonzalez forced his way into the White House earlier this month, even though the first family wasn't home, it was called an unprecedented security breach. The Secret Service initially said Gonzalez was detained quickly after he entered the front door. Now, as the Washington Post first reported and NBC News confirmed, we're learning Gonzalez made it far inside the executive mansion. In fact, he ran past a staircase that leads to the first family's living quarters. Ten days after this fence jumper got onto the White House grounds, new details about security lapses that allowed him to get deep into the White House itself. Omar Gonzalez jumped the fence around 7.20 p.m. September 19th, ran across the North Lawn and burst into the front door, which was unlocked. Secret Service agents did not release dogs to chase him, nor fire weapons to stop him. According to a U.S. official, Gonzalez overpowered a female uniformed Secret Service officer, unaware he had broken the first line of security because an alarm box had been muted at the request of the White House usher's office. He barreled past the guard, turned left, and ran into the East Room. He ran the entire length of the White House to the other end of the East Room before he was tackled by a heavily armed counter-assault agent near the doorway to the green room. This comes after another Washington Post report that when a man fired shots into the White House in 2011, it took the Secret Service four days to realize the residents had been hit seven times with bullets and another day to arrest the man. Sasha was home at the time with her grandmother. The First Lady and President were traveling and didn't learn about the incident for several days. Aides have described the president and she as both fuming because of being parents who think that their family is protected, but also by the way that the first lady learned this information. Even before these Let's latest go. revelations, a congressional committee was preparing to grill the director of the Secret Service, Julia Pearson. She'll be in the hot seat tomorrow. I'm extremely concerned. Most organizations uh, have acceptable losses. In other words, they're right 97% of the time. In the case of the Secret Service, they have to succeed 100% of the time. It's clear that something needs to be done, and something needs to be done drastically. Uh, it's also clear that they need to have a come to Jesus moment. Neither the White House nor the Secret Service are commenting on the latest reports about Gonzalez. So far, no one has been fired in the wake of that security breach or the one back in 2011. Brian. Kristen Welker on the North Lawn in front of the residence for us tonight. Kristen, thanks.